What's up? Welcome to my new video. As already announced last week, I plan to upgrade the weak battery of the JBL Pipebox 100. I will link all the necessary things in the video description. Before you start, I recommend watching my video from last week to familiarize yourself with how to remove the battery from the party box. Be careful, these lithium ion cells can be very dangerous and catch fire easily. I am not responsible for any damage. Do this upgrade only if you know what you are doing. First, try to gently lift the battery. Do not damage the batteries or the PCB. You can cause a short circuit. The batteries are glued to the frame. I check the battery voltage with a multimeter to understand how the battery is connected to the battery management system. Next, I remove the tape from the thermistor and take it out. Next, I unsolder the cables. Be careful and secure the open wires immediately. Do not cause any short circuit. Now you can cut the connections to the beam S. Again, do not touch any other parts accidentally. I remove the remaining nickel strips. and unfold the battery. Now I need a spot welder. I purchased a small battery powered spot welder for some future projects. This is the first time I use a spot welder. First I will familiarize myself with the device and try it out. I better take a piece of wood as a base and set the spot welder on level 1. Ok, that worked. Now I fold the strip. Ok, I think I'm ready. I purchased 4 additional 8650 2500mAh batteries. They are the same cells, as you can see. Next, all batteries need to have the same voltage, therefore I charge them in storage mode, which means that they will have 3.7 volts at the end. While the batteries are charging, I designed a new case in Fusion 360. Unfortunately, there is not much space inside the box, therefore I cannot apply any spacers to the batteries. I also make a small ramp, where you can slide in the battery block later, and two small holes for zip tie, so you don't need any glue to secure the battery. I also make an additional top plate, which is not necessary due to the zip ties, but you can use it and glue it on the marked spots with super glue. I print the frame, remove the supports and clean it a little bit. Now you have to assemble the battery. I made a diagram to show you exactly how you have to connect the battery to the BMS. I will display it later in the left corner. I removed the leftover sharp nickel pieces with sandpaper. Now I can finally spot weld them. First I make blocks of two batteries together in parallel.
Now you can carefully weld them to the beam S, as shown in the diagram. After I assemble the battery, I have to solder the blue cables into place. I wrap the battery with heat resistant tape and put it into the 3D printed frame. I secure it with the zip tie. and hot glue. As you can see the battery is built in and the box is charging. Everything works fine. Now one last thing. Unfortunately the main board has a charge limit. It stops at a certain value. But there are possibilities how you could avoid it. Unplug the charging cable, turn on the party box and turn it off after a few seconds. Sometimes you have to hard reset it by turning it on and pressing the volume up and the play button together for 10 seconds. Now the charging counter is reset and you can charge until you reach the 80 watt hour limit as you can see in the picture. I hope you like my work. Thanks for watching and goodbye.